guys my name is Ajayi Abdibayo and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to perform SEO on your website I'm going to show you how you can quickly rank your website so that your website will show on Google immediately you finish designing your website right a lot of people design their website and their website do not appear on Google when you go to Google you do not find these guys their websites um, is not ranking on Google so I'm going to show you how you can easily rank your website within 20 minutes uh, you can rank your website on Google and um, Google is going to what uh, put you on your search engine and people will start seeing you on Google, right? So let's get right into my system and let me show you how to do this. Hello guys, so I want to show you how to perform SEO for your website. So it is not good enough for you to just have a website and your website is not showing on Google, right? So for you to have your website shown on Google, you need to perform some kind of basic SEO. SEO means search engine optimization to allow your website to be visible in the search engine, right? So uh, let me just show you an example of what I mean. So let's go to Google and see, um, okay, let's see, Jubia. When you type Jumia on Google, um, you're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, so you can see uh, this is an ad. This is not SEO. This is an ad, right? But if you come here, this is SEO, right? So you can see something like Jumia is the number one online shopping center. And you can see that the site is showing right here on Google. So this is exactly what we want to achieve in today's training. Yeah. So as you tell, for you to do this kind of um, stuff, you need to first of all um, log into the C panel of your website. I'm not going to be talking about see panel in this video because for you to perform seo on any website it means that you are already a web designer right so you already know what the see panel is right so i'll just go to my file manager I'll go to my file manager right so just go to my file manager and um, oh my god So I'm all right in my uh, C panel. So I'll just go to file manager. So I'll just uh, type file manager. So I'll go to file manager. So I'll go to file manager. Now when I get to file manager, uh, I'll just go to public underscore HTML. So normally if you have your website designed on public underscore HTML, you can just go right into that public underscore HTML and begin to edit the pages of your website, right? But I don't have my website in public underscore HTML. I have my website in a folder, right? I have it in a folder and this is the folder. And this website in this folder is the exact website that you are seeing right here. Now you see that? So this is the exact website that you are seeing right here. So I'll just go right there. So I'll just go right there, open up the website, then I'll go to the pages of the website. These are the pages of the website. Can you see that? This is a page, this is a page, this is a page, this is a page. So it can be either HTML page or it can be PHP page. Whatever those pages is, you can actually um, edit those pages and perform SEO on them. So I'll just right click on this home page, then I'll click on edit. The home page is the most important part of the website, and that is the place where you can actually perform your SEO, right? So uh, this is shown to me already. Now, when this is shown to you, just look for title, right? So let me just press Ctrl F. Ctrl F means find the type title. Right, so you see that title, right? So when you see title, you see here. Now, when I put my mouse here and you see the title is whatever you put on the title is what is showing here. And if we go to Jumia again, whatever you put on the title of the site is what is showing right here. Can you see that? Whatever you put on the title of the, of the site is what is going to show right here. Can you see that? Anything you see right here is the title. So I can just go back here and um, let's say I go to my title. So I cannot say um, instead of putting home. It's not professional to use them. So you use your uh, keyword, right, to do your title. Your keyword should always appear in your title instead of something like home, right? Your keyword or the name of your business should always be your title. So I can just come here, I'll remove home, and I'll say, I'll put the name of my website here, which is what? Beam Traders. Can you see that? So I will now come here and I will now say, we are expert investment company worldwide can you see that we are expert investment company worldwide so i'm just going to save that so when i save that and um i come to my website when i now um refresh my website you see uh that is going to change right so you're going to see that it has changed to beam trigger we are expert 
investment company nationwide. Let me go back to the code uh, company worldwide. So I have to specify this, right? So this is going to show like this on Google, just the same way you see Jumia on Light Shopping Appliances on Google, right? So now the next thing is what is what we have here, which is what the description. So let's go back to the code again. We'll go back to the code again. You are going to see something here, which is what description, right? So anything that you put here is now your description, right? Anything that you put here is now your description. So I usually do something like this. Let's go to okay. So let me do control U to go into the code area of your website and see if I'll get some um keywords that I'm going to use. Can you see that? Okay, look at their description here. Can you see that? Look at their keyword right here. Look at their description. And this is your keyword. Look at it. Cryptocurrency exchange. Can you see that? So, and this is uh, their description containing the keyword. So, I'll just leave this keyword right here. So, I'm going to open my notepad. So, the idea is that you have to look at what your website is into. Then, you probably look for a competitor that is also doing the same thing that you are doing and look for what they use as their keyword and their description and you edit it and you edit that, right? Can you see that? So, I'll come here. I will now say crypto. Currency investment websites. Can you see that? So I cannot say oh I can say we are praised the world can remove the uh, largest and biggest can you see that Bitcoin and creep to currency can you see that investment website and forest trading can you see that so this will not be my description so i've just copied this description right here i'm going to copy this right here um so let me take it to my code so i'm going to go here i have my description and i'm just going to paste it right here can you see that so i've already pasted it right here can you see that so i'm going to do what i'm going to save this so when talking about optimizing the home page of your website the two most important thing is what the description and the title so they are very very important so there are also sometimes when you have to see for instance if you see this guy here it also has the description right here. Can you see that? You may not see this on your own. So anyway, I see that I've just pasted my own description right here. Can you see that? I'll just paste my own uh, description right here. Then I'm going to save that. So you can go ahead and do this for all of the pages of your website, right? Now, it is not enough for you to just um, optimize the keyword, optimize your keyword, optimize your description, and optimize your title. Immediately you finish optimizing this, the next thing you, you do is what you need to signal Google and tell Google that I have optimized the pages of my website, right? I have optimized the pages of my website and I want my website to be shown on Google. I want you to show my website on Google. I want the search engines to come and crawl my website because you can instruct the search engine to actually come and crawl your website. So let's instruct the search engine to come and crawl our website. So how to do that? You just go to google.com slash webmasters. So you go to google.com uh, google.com slash webmasters. Uh, sorry. Google.com You go to google.com slash webmaster, right? Awesome. So when you go to google.com slash webmaster, don't forget this is for, there's a way to also do for uh, SEO for a, a WordPress site. So this is not a WordPress site, this is an HTML and PHP website, right? So when you go to google.com slash um, webmaster, all you have to do is what you click on what get started. Just make sure that you have Gmail, you are logged into what to, to this with your Gmail. Make sure your Gmail is logged into the browser. If your Gmail is not logged into the browser, it will also ask you to log in. So when you click on get started, the next thing you need to click is what go to search console. 
So it's going to take me to my search console. Now, if I am doing this for the, if you are doing this for the first time, my search console, I already have some website that I've used my search console for. So if you are doing this for the for the very first time, you may not see this, right? You may not see this. You 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 just see where it's asking you to verify your domain name and all that. But let me just come here and see what I'll do. So I'll click on this, then I'll click on Add Property. So if you are doing this for the very first time, this is exactly what you're going to see, right? But if you have used that Gmail to perform SEO from one particular website before it's going to show you the way it show your mind and all you have to do is just click on that button and say um, add property so right here I'm going to put my domain name so I'm just copying my domain name uh, where's my domain name so this is my domain name I'm just copying my domain name and then I'll click on it and I'll put it right here can you see that then I'll click on what continue so see what's going to do right now so it's going to verify can you see that so it told it's telling me that um, download HTML. So I'm going to download this HTML file. So this HTML file has been downloaded, right? So you see that it says upload to. Can you see that upload to here? So I'm going to upload that file to my website. This is um, a signal to Google that you own the website number one and number two. This is a signal that you want the robot to actually come and crawl your website. If the robot does not see this, your website will not be crawled and you, your, um, your your optimization may not uh, go through. So let's go back to our cPanel. So I'm going to go back to my cPanel and I'm going to go back to my file manager. So this is my file manager. We have all of my websites. So I'm going to click on upload. And I'm going to click on select. Right? I'm going to click on select. Then I'm going to go to download where I have that file. Then I'm going to upload that file. Can you see that? So I'm going to upload that file. So when that file is upload, uh, fully uploaded, I'm going to go back right here and I'll click on what verify. So I'll click on verify. So it's going to check if that file was actually uploaded. Right? Can you see that? Ownership verified. Can you see that? Ownership verified. So I'll click on what? Go to property. Awesome. Can you see that? So it has taken me to this property. What I just did was that I just put a code that Google has given to me on my website that allows Google to know that I am the owner of this website. So, and when they know that I'm the owner of this website, it also signals them that I am ready to perform SEO on this website and they can send their bot and their search uh, machine to actually come across my website. So, immediately we'll do that. The next thing we are going to do is what? We'll just come to this place and put our website link. Can you see that? Just come here and put your website link and you click on what? Enter. So when you click on enter, it's going to start, you know, interacting with Google, right? Can you see that? See that it says view crop and so you now click on what request indensity. When you click on request indensity, what, what, what you are trying to tell Google is that you want them to come and crawl this website. You want Google to come and crawl this website. So when you request indensity, it's going to send a signal to the board. It's going to send a signal to uh, the, uh, the Google machine that you want this site to be in depth, right? So don't forget before you um, think of doing SEO or doing these activities on your website, just make sure that your website is well designed, right? Your website must be well designed. So if your website is not well designed, um, it is not a good time for you to do SEO on your website. Just make sure you finish the designing of your website before you do this activity, right? So let's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Can you see that URL was added to the priority queue? So, when the page multiple times, we not change it. Can you see that? So, what I have simply uh, uh, done was that I have already sent this to Google. Can you see that? So, if I click on this cover, click on index non submitted, can you see that? Um, okay, so you see that this is my URL. Can you see that user uh, canonical? So, what I have simply done is that I have told Google that they should come and crawl my website, right? They should come and search. And, and, and send their search engine and their board to my website and index my website so my website can actually show um, uh, show up in their search engine. So this is a very, very basic way for you to actually optimize your website to show on Google, right? So subscribe to my channel if you like my content and hit the subscribe button so that I'll be able to do more of these content for you, right? This is a basic way that you can perform SEO. There, though there are many other things that you can perform when it comes to SEO, but this will enable your website, enable Google to come and crawl your website and also be able to show your website in the search engine. Now, take note that this does not take immediate, does not take effect immediately, right? It might take um, up to some weeks, it might take even months.
right? But sometimes when you do this in the next two, three days, your site can start showing up on Google. So, but when you do it and three, four, five, six days, your site is not showing on Google. Do not worry, uh, just uh, wait. But if you wait for like one month, your site is still not showing on Google, just so that uh, there is something wrong. So you might come here and re, uh, uh, do the process again and request indenting again. So you can see that you can request indenting again and you can also submit your website link uh, for Google to come and recrawl the website again. So thank you for listening and God bless you.